So here we go for the WRSA English title, matched at 77 kilos. In the red corner, we've got Lee Whitfield from the Reaper Gym. And in the blue corner, we've got Craig Buckley from the Waterloo Street Gym in Bolton. Lee Whitfield coming out southpaw. And Craig Buckley slapping him with a heavy right kick straight away. Nice gauge of techniques here by both guys using that push kick. Using that little push kick in between. Lifting up nice and heavy. Craig on the back foot. Lee stalking forwards. Trading body kicks out by both guys. We put in a, a nice combination there using his right hook. And back into the action. I think if Craig keeps leaning away from that hook, the way that he does, he's going to move into a, a real big head kick. I've already seen the, the power that Lee Whitfield can, can generate with that heavy left kick. Trade of techniques right at the end of the round there. Lee Whitfield looking, looking as if he's dominating. Good round that one, Rich. Good opening C round. Certainly was. Both both guys testing and, and feeling that range, using the uh, using the push kick to good effect. Coming out, he's got great technique here. Looking very composed. Working, at, working those low kicks really well. Closing the distance down and, and lifting the knees in the clinch. Craig turning away and that's going to score against him. Well, Lee seems really strong. Hands down a little bit, a little bit too low there in the clinch. Should be, should be locking on properly. Yeah. You notice that Lee, Lee's using some nice sneaky little, little trips and sweeps yeah. on that on that lead leg. 
disturbing the balance really well. I was just going to say before that, he's starting to show a bit more dominance in this round as well. He's um, yeah, sort of he, stepped up a little bit more now. Yeah, he certainly has. It, it, it seems the, the stronger of the two guys. Yeah. Dave Jackson just giving uh, Craig Buckley a little moment to recover from that knee to the groin. And turn back on. The blue corner is telling his, his fighter to start using his boxing more. And that's a wise choice because I, I think I think Lee seems the sharper of the two on the outside when using his kicks. So Craig needs it needs to be setting himself, standing standing strong, using his boxing and really turn it turn his hips in into the techniques. Corner there. We've got Dean James just giving some good solid instruction. He's fighting very soon. At the start of May against Andy Housen. In a rematch after Dean James won on the last bout of the Super uh, MEN show in Manchester late last year. We'll see if Lee moves up a bit more now with his, his game. Yeah, Lee certainly seems, seems to be the, the heavier hitter of the two. Yeah. Lee's going really well in the clinch and, and using great balance. You notice that his feet are just slightly wider, so he, he's got the, the stronger base to work from. Yeah. Back, back to that good, good solid body kick. He's scoring well. Lee pushing, pushing forwards into the clinch here. Concerned of his, of his right ankle there. The way, the way that the way that Craig's turning into the clinch is actually turning on onto Lee's big left knee. So Craig has to be moving in the opposite direction, away away from that from that left knee. That's how we got caught low last time, was, was because he was moving the wrong way. All he has to do now is just aim that knee a little bit higher and he'll have some great success with it. Again, Craig dropping his hands down in the clinch, where he should be locking, locking on, just so that he can do, use his twists and counters. Again, Another great round there for Lee Whitfield. <laughs> Phil, if you were giving any advice to Craig Buckley, what would you be saying to him? Oh, well, I'd, I'd get in close on him. Um, it's like... 
Lee. Lee's a lot stronger. He's kicking into his, 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 his kicking ability is pretty good. Um, yeah, and, and we're trying to work on Lee. some boxing as well. Yeah, I mean, Lee seems to be stronger in the clinch as well, so. Yeah. I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> damned if you do, damned yeah, if yeah. you don't. Yeah. Um, but for me, I, I think uh, Craig needs to set himself and maintain that boxing range. Yeah. Now, they, this is where it's going to be dangerous because Lee's such a heavy kicker. Second he's just going to be lifting up that left body kick to, to stop him throwing that right hand. Yeah. So, I, me personally, I'd be telling Craig to use his jab, jab hook, and then and then right knee, long right knee, rather than rather than engaging in the clinch work. Yeah. Waterloo Street, Jim t telling Craig to turn. Turn him around along the ropes, just so that he can change position. Again, Craig, Craig on the back foot with his, with his back against the ropes, See, seeming too, too reactive. Lee keeping that pressure on. Craig, Craig just keeping it even with the knees. Backwards and forwards. And a great score there, just, just before the break by Craig. Kneeing across the back of Lee Whitfield. I think um, I think Craig's struggling now. What what he needs to do really to uh, to get to Lee. Good to see a nice little touch of gloves there. <laughs> Nice good left hand there, straight down the middle. Sharon, the jump knee attempt there by Craig, touching the knee of Lee Whitfield, but not quite having the having the power behind it to have any effect. Craig grabbing the rope. And Craig trying to box in it, box in the clinch. You, just, you can tell that he's he's running out of ideas there. Well, that, that jump knee attempt that he, that he used he right, just right at the gym. end, only just missed. Yeah, so, yeah. potentially, that, that could be something for the next round. Well, fifth round next. Last chance saloon. I think he needs to work on his uh, boxing like I agree with you earlier. His boxing will probably work for him better. Yeah, because, uh, I mean, I think... I think Lee seems to be the, the more dominant force yeah. in the in the sort of kicking and clinch yeah, exchanges. Yeah. Yeah. But Craig's having having a lot of success when he's when he's using his boxing. So I think linking that together with with the long knee yeah. uh, would be a, a nice tidy tidy combination for him to to develop. I think uh, I think now going to the last round it's probably gonna be too late. We'll see. Too, too, too late to have a points win, but who knows? Only takes yeah. one, one shot on the button. Yeah. And again, there's that there's that jump knee attempt again. Craig trying to box out the clinch. Lee's going well with the knees. He's trying to he's trying to knee uh, knee Craig to Ed now. Yeah, turn him over. Yeah.
again, the, the boxing of Craig lands well, but then, then Lee comes back and scores well with the, with the knees. Now, I know that all, all techniques score evenly, but there are some that score more evenly than others. Yeah. And the, the knee, knees to the body are, are assumed to have effect, whereas the boxing, you need to see that effect. Yeah, Craig's on back foot now. Yeah, he's, he's just backing off. He's, he's not looking yeah. to, to throw any, anything of, of danger. Just, relent, just moving, moving away for the, for the sake of it, I think. Yeah, I think he's just waiting for that bell to go now. Yeah, I mean, I mean, this, this is for the WRSA English title. Yeah. And Lee scoring really well, securing that win. He's taken That's it. That's it. It's all over, and we have a new champion in Lee Whitfield, which will be confirmed by the judges in second. I hope. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, great performance there by Lee, Whit Lee Whitfield from the Reaper Gym. Lee Whitfield, He's the WRSA English title holder at 77 kilos. Well done, Lee.